If you have been to the grocery store at all lately, you're likely suffering from a case of sticker shock. And one of the items really rising in cost is fresh produce. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright tells you why. The USDA predicts the costs of fruits and vegetables will go up as much as 4.5% this year compared to last year. That increase is leading to tough choices for families in Camden County. Samir Abu Harb is grocery shopping with his three young sons. They need high quality produce as they grow. He says lately he's had to spend more time driving for Lyft so he can afford the rising cost of food, including fruits and vegetables. Sometimes you need to work a little bit extra hours in the night, like maybe 16 hours a day, so you can support your family. At Fayers Market on Haddon Avenue in Camden, white onions are $1.99 a pound. They used to be $1.29 a pound. The general manager of the store, Jordan Valdez, says distributors are charging him more money to buy the produce, and those costs are getting passed to the customers. Especially when the when, uh, issue with Russia was going on and, and the gas went up, deliveries went up, so transportation going up, that causes all, most of the items to go up. These limes used to be $1.50 a bag. Now they're $3 a bag, and you only get six little limes instead of eight big limes the size of lemons. This bag of spinach right here is $3. With $3, they could go to like McDonald's or something like that and, and buy a, a good meal for $3. That's a reason why, you know, it's so difficult for people to start eating healthier. The increased cost of fresh produce makes the decision to eat healthier, tougher, and more expensive. Abu Harb is hoping policymakers intervene. The government or anything, they need to do it something to stop, they, they raise the prices. The Food Bank of South Jersey says it works with more than 200 partner agencies to provide food for those in need. To learn more, head to our website, cbsphilly.com. In Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Madeline Wright, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.